How's it going, people? Well, in our last thrilling chapter of the BOM, we uh, saw a major massacre on the Hill of Camorra, and now they're down to like 24 Nephites, give or take. So, chapter 7. Mormon affirms to Lamanites that they are of the house of Israel, in case they forgot. They're not just a bunch of Indians or whatever. Oh, hang on. Not much to drink to, but I thought I'd have some company at least. With my, have my buddy old Chub. Yeah, this is not for uh, drinking with this book. This is just for company. There's really not much to this chapter. I just glanced ahead a little. I brought another friend along. There is a couple of instances where I can capitalize on a phrase that gets overused. Admonishes them, the Lamanites, for their salvation. That's pretty damn bold after they killed your 10,000 and all those other guys' 10,000. Pretty much left you down to like 24 Nephites. And he's gonna go there and bitch him out, huh? Let's see. One at first. And now, behold, I would speak somewhat unto the remnant of this people who are spared. I guess that's a Lamanites. If it so be that God may give unto them my words, that they may know of the things of their fathers, okay? I speak unto you, ye remnant of the house of Israel, and these are the words which I speak. That was necessary. Two, know ye that ye are of the house of Israel? Much repetition there. Yeah, we get it. The Indians are Jews. They just got a hoodoo hex put on them that gave them a really good tan. I think it looks nice, personally. I like it. All right. Oh, yeah. Three. Know ye that ye must come unto repentance, or ye cannot be saved. So, I think it's hell. Four. Know ye that ye must lay down your weapons of war. Wow. <laughs> And delight no more in the shedding of blood. And take them not again, save it be that God shall command you. God who could, like, do anything, wants, would, might want you to dig up your weapons and go to war. I guess you figured this is unfair. You know, it must be like, you know, when I had this one kid picking on me and I, and my old man, uh, Stop the kid, you know, grab the kid, and I don't want to fight the guy. My old man says, Rich, come over here. You guys are going to fight. I'm going to sit on the lawn there. And it worked out all right. So that's what God's doing. He's, I, he can't be, it'd be like if my dad punched that kid out for giving me a hard time. If God did all, wait, but he's killed people before, though. So like, like, own it. I mean, a guy spilled seed on the ground and BAM! Dead. Too much like paganism. But he can't do anything here. He needs them to dig up their weapons. All right. Nate. Five. Know ye that ye must come to the knowledge of your fathers and repent of all your sins. Like killing his 10,000, for instance. <laughs> 
eh, iniquities and believe in Jesus Christ and he is the Son of God. And that he was slain by the Jews. It looked like the Romans were doing all the heavy lifting. And by the power of the Father, he hath risen again, whereby he hath gained the victory over the grave, and also in him is the sting of, of death swallowed up. He swallows. <laughs> All right, that was just plain wrong. Oh, well. Six. And he bringeth to pass. And I'll take that in any tense. Haven't had any of this in a while. Same bottle. Evidently, take it from me, I, I wouldn't know. Um, at least I admit it. Bring it to pass a resurrection of the dead, whereby man must be raised up to stand before his judgment seat. For like jaywalking, spitting on the sidewalk, and all those things he did. All of them! You better be sorry. Now, Seven. And he hath brought to pass, like I said, in any tense, that's fine. Kind of a downer after that big battle, which was a downer. But they were they were sparing us all the gory details. It wasn't bad writing. It was brilliant. you. My loyal viewers, I'm surprised. Hey, thank you. I'd be doing this to, just to myself on YouTube otherwise, and I'd still be doing it. That's a, that's a sad part. I'm glad you're here, but you're just watching a really disgraceful spectacle, that's all. I'm having fun. <laughs> Alright, enough stalling. And he hath brought to pass the redemption of the world, whereby he that is found guiltless before him at the judgment day, you know, those perfect people, if saints, hath it given unto him to dwell in the presence of God in his kingdom, to sing ceaseless praises with the choirs above unto the Father, and unto the Son, and unto the Holy Ghost, which are one God. Well, in that case, then Hinduism is actually monotheism because they're all the pantheon are aspects of the same source. Sort of, kind of. I was into that for a while. Also. <laughs> which are one God in a state of happiness which have no end. You're one of those perfect people. Have fun, Mitt. I know you'll love it. You'll fit right in. Hey, I don't give a mint myself. <laughs> Therefore, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, which is a which is a real name. You should have found out on his mailbox, Jesus Christ, which shall be set before you. Not only in this record, but also in the record which shall come unto the Gentiles. 
from the Jews. Probably the New Testament then. Which record shall come from the Gentiles unto you? Wait for it. It's going to be worth it. Or not. <laughs> Nine! Scotch ale chasing, chasing scotch. Single malt. Mm. What a bliss. Nine. For behold, this is written for the intent that ye may believe. That, that you may, may be that you may believe that, and if ye believe that, ye will believe this also. And if ye believe this as well, wait, and if you, ye believe this, ye will know concerning your fathers. So what? They could have believed the wrong shit too. I mean, I learned this from my parents, all this shit. And relatives and older people are supposed to know better. And I grew up finding it's all Santa syndrome. <laughs> and also, hang on, I think the page, the paint stuck to these pages together. <laughs> there we go. The marvelous works, which were wrought by the power of God among them. Not so many in this book, though. Ten. And ye will also know that ye are a remnant of the seed of Jacob, who's Israel, it's like Elijah and Elijah, those two dudes, Ugh. Jacob. Therefore, ye are numbered among the people of the first covenant. It's kind of like having a trust fund, you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and if it so be that ye believe in Jesus and are baptized first with water, then with fire, I think it ought to be the other way around, don't you? with the Holy Ghost following the example of our Savior I thought he had the Holy Ghost first but no wait no, that's right that's right. All right yeah he got dunked and then he had the dove land on him or something and some people saw it and other people didn't depends on which version you read and they said different stuff at that time. And then he went somewhere else that was different than other ones, other Gospels. It's really interesting. I'll have to go back and do some research and talk about it. It'll be redundant, but I'll do it. I'll find a new way to do it. Ten. And ye will also know that ye are, yeah, the remnant of the seed of Jacob. Therefore ye are numbered among the people of the first covenant, and if it so be that ye believe in Christ, and are baptized first with fire, then with first with water, then with fire, see I mean it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> I guess I'm being too literal here. But I mean, wouldn't it be better if they had the armor of the Holy Ghost descend on them and then throw them into fire and then they jump into the water and then Good to go. <laughs> I, I think I can make a better religion somehow. One that doesn't cost anybody anything, and it's got to be different for everybody. Otherwise, they're doing it wrong. If they check with somebody and they're doing it the same way, change the way you're doing it or make them change. There it is. 
make it up as you go along. All right. Eh, let me know if that works. The whole point is, don't be an asshole. Treat people like you want to be treated, which Jesus didn't invent. And Ron Paul got booed at the Republican convention for mentioning that. Uh, do unto others. They went, what's up? Yippee. Big of commie shit. He's not a Christian. Saying shit like that. Sounds like share the wealth. People get shot for that. Holy Ghost. Following the example of our Savior. We're going to get through this, I promise. Uh, our Savior, according to that which he hath commanded us, it shall be, shall be well with you in the day of judgment. Amen. And that's it for eight. That's about all I can stand. Uh, yeah, that's it for seven. Excuse me. I'm looking at eight. <laughs> that's it for seven. And... It wasn't that interesting, but apparently Moroni sent this to the Lamanites, and maybe, I don't know, pretty vague. After this huge slaughter, I guess he's talking to them instead of hiding from them, being that there's only 24 of them left. Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, we're wrapping this up tempted to do another, but I think I'll do uh, a little DNC. And you're probably not down with that, because it's going to be dull, but it might be funny. Who knows? I haven't looked at it yet. And I've got a little bit of a head change on it, so it might be fun. But, yeah, I don't know, if you can't, if you don't want, if you had enough, and I understand, then all I can say is peace, fuck out, have a wonderful, whatever fuck it is, your head. Gotta do some DNC. I don't know how much. I haven't looked yet.